Has Wizards of the Coast made a deal with the devil? And is this market about to boom? Make no mistake about it, folks. Wizards of the Coast knows exactly what they're doing. And investment banks might just have a gun to their head to ensure profits in 2023. This could be the end of the road for some players, but it could be the golden brick road for others. Welcome back, folks. This is Brody at Alfonso Investments. And thank you once again for joining me here on my channel. Now, this video is going to be a little bit difficult for some folks to hear. So I'm going to give you my answer right off the hop. And then I'll explain exactly how I got there. Is this market about to boom? Yes. And are some players going to lose everything before that happens? Yes. Folks, Wizards of the Coast has made a deal with investment banks that we've seen going back to the fourth quarter of 2022. And now we're well into the second quarter of 2023 and we can see exactly what's happening now with the writing on the wall and the level of products that are coming at players, excuse me, consumers, for the rest of the year. Now, money is just like any other resource out there. Is it or isn't it? It's supposed to be a store of value, a representation of an amount of work. It's not like gasoline or wheat or groceries that you buy at the store that get used up and consumed and are gone. Money's got to go somewhere. So rather than put their money into big oil companies or food stocks or beverage companies, some big banks are banking on Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro's ability with consumer relations to get into your pockets and produce a return. Now, what does this mean with regards to new players and existing players already in the Magic the Gathering marketplace? Well, time in the market has always proved to be more valuable than timing the market. And with the price of everything going up, including the loaf of bread and food on the shelves, everything but individual working man's wages is going up in price, and that leaves us all with less money to spend to put cardboard on the table at the end of the day. So what does this mean with the printing of serialized Ragavans, Commander Masters boosters, going all the way back to Double Masters when we saw the invention of the Box Topper and Throne of Eldraine Collector's boosters? Wizards of the Coast was testing the market to see if they had what it takes to get into your pocket. Now, right in the first quarter of 2023, we're already starting to see some pretty good sales on overstock products from last year that didn't sell from the shelves of the big box stores. Now, what does that mean? If this backlog continues all the way into the first, second, and third quarter of this year, by the time November comes around, if these products don't sell the way banks are betting on Hasbro that they're going to sell, we're going to see some pretty good deals on these sealed products before the year is out. Now, with that being said, if you can't resist the temptation to buy into every new set that comes along, we've already got March of the Machine spoilers out, as well as Lord of the Rings spoilers, and those products haven't even made it onto the store shelf yet. In fact, it's Tuesday and pre-release weekend is coming up this weekend, and we've already got two full sets spoiled already 
before they're even available in paper? This rush to market almost seems like Wizards of the Coast has a gun to their head. And make no mistake about it, they certainly do. Because big investment banks that are backing on them and buying Hasbro stock have made it very clear that they expect a return on their money. So if you can't resist the urge to buy each and every one of these products, you're probably not going to have much left over at the end of the month to pay your rent. And the same goes true for big box stores and Magic the Gathering stores that are going to need to pay their rent come November if these products don't sell. Which means we're going to be waiting for the super high-end sale to hit, for the cards in the showcase to go on sale, when all these sealed products continue to make a backlog in supply chain that Wizards may not know is coming. So I want to thank you all for watching this video right to the end. The players, and I know Wizards of the Coast has a whole different set of pronouns for players, and that's been highlighted in the Blueprint 2.0. Consumers, because that's what you are considered by the folks over at Hasbro. Now, I know I'm the working man making Magic the Gathering content for you, the working man or woman, if you're tuning in. And I want you folks to get the opportunity to get some fun into your collection. Come November, when we see the super high-end sale on cards in the showcase, because the sealed products aren't selling, that's how we're going to know the bottom is in. And we're probably going to see a boom in reserve list card prices. If the economy starts to pick up and continue to trickle up and people who are out there working hard every day to provide some actual value in this economy, keep doing what they're doing. We're all going to come out of this just fine. And if you are willing to put on the brakes and not be distracted by every shiny bauble that Wizards of the Coast puts in front of you, it may be the golden brick road for you come the end of the year. Put a comment in the comments section if you watch right to the end. I want you to put the color green if you know what I mean. This has been Brody Alfonso. Today is Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. Thanks for joining me and we'll talk to you again real soon.